been outside today, then you definitely got hit by this heat. Yeah, a dangerous stretch ahead of us, Todd and Tricia, with temperatures approaching record values, not just for today, but through tomorrow and Friday as well. More than 10 degrees above the seasonal average. A lot of sunshine. It looks beautiful out from Valley View camera, but unfortunately, it doesn't feel as good as it looks because this heat is intense. 106 right now at McCarran. Same for Nellis and Henderson. 107 at the Henderson Airport. Even triple digit heat for Summerlin. Now, today's daily high temperature record, 107. Set back in 2003, so we're inching closer to it, and we do still have some time to see that temperature climb before officially hitting our high. It's something I'll be watching closely heading into tonight. We are running four to six degrees warmer than this time yesterday. Tomorrow's jump in temperature not as significant, but we still could see highs increase another degree or two as we move into tomorrow and Friday. But it's not just the uh, temperature increasing tomorrow, also the wind speed. It's relatively calm out there tonight, but a bit of a breeze picks up tomorrow and Friday as this ridge of high pressure finally starts to break down. That brings relief by the start of next week, but for the next three consecutive days, expect the intense heat to continue, and it's not just during the afternoon. 8 p.m. after sunset, still in the triple digits. It takes us until 9 or 10 tonight to drop back into the 90s. We do expect the clear sky to continue in overall calm conditions, so heat is the primary forecast focus now that this excessive heat warning has started. It doesn't expire until Friday at 9 p.m. Stay hydrated. Limit your time outside during peak heating hours if you can. That's generally between 10 and 11 a.m. and 4 and 5 p.m. But if you do have to be outside during those hours, make sure to take lots and lots of breaks in the shade. It's not just the afternoon highs that cause issues, but when our lows stay in the 80s in the Las Vegas Valley, your body just can't cool itself off. And this is where we'll start tomorrow morning before highs jump right back 10 degrees above normal. That puts us at 108 degrees in Mesquite tomorrow, 112 for Laughlin. 120 degrees in Death Valley for your Thursday. 107 is the forecast high tomorrow in Las Vegas. 105 for Summerlin, 107 in Sunrise Manor, 107 for Anthem as well. This is really intense summer-like heat right at the start of June. So this is a look at our forecast highs compared to record highs for the next three days. Tomorrow our forecast high is the record high, so a good chance that we tie or potentially break that. Friday we're getting close enough to it, but by Saturday you notice the temperature is starting to back off. It will still be intensely hot, but that's when we'll notice that wind starting to pick up as the ridge begins to break down. That's what will finally bring the double digits back by the start of next week.